Greetings, Captain. Today, we are looking at zombie games on the iPad and whether or not they appear to be logical. Yeah, I can't keep doing that for long. Hey everyone, this is Beth Elderkin with iPad Insight and today, as I mentioned, we're looking at zombies and the most important thing, why are they so popular? Now, I may not be a Twilight fan in any form, but I do understand the recent vampire craze. Vampires are suave, they're sexy, they sparkle. But why zombies? They're literally rotting corpses that bite you and then you shoot them in the face. So why is there such a fixation on zombies? There's zombie books like Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. There's Movies, games, candy, heck, even the Apple Store came out with an entire page devoted to zombie games before they came out with one for Halloween. But I don't get it. Zombies aren't cool. They're icky. They're gross. They're unhygienic. I mean, what's the point? What are you talking about? Zombies are awesome. Bill Hamstock from SB Nation, what are you doing here? And why aren't you in a costume? Now I feel kind of silly. I'm here to help you out. Look, if I need help reviewing some kind of a sports game or whatever, I'll, I'll give you a call. But, I mean, how are you supposed to help me with this? Besides, we've already established that zombies are stupid. Case closed. Game over. We're moving on. Back in the days when MySpace still existed, I was one of the founders of the Raise Zombie Awareness Movement. Right, I forgot about that. Alright, what do you got? I think you're misunderstanding the appeal of zombies. With zombies, it's not about being sexy or sparkly. It's the gunslinger mentality. The idea that you're in an untamed new frontier and your only hope of survival is banding together with your fellow survivors and hoping they're not morons or psychopaths. Then, you get to be a total badass. Okay, okay, I get it. You think zombies are awesome, that's fine. But to me, they're still gross and nothing you say is really gonna change that. That being said, Let's look at a couple zombie games. Wait, wait, we haven't even gotten into the idea of the uh, zombie media as allegory for our modern consumer culture. Uh, the zombies represent our incessant uh, demand for uh, media and goods, and uh, there's the postmodern aspect of the mind. Okay, enough of that. Well, given Mr. Hanstock's enlightening testimony, let's go ahead and take a look at those zombie games. Now, if you're a fan of zombie killing games, there are plenty of options available for you on the iPad. There's the Walking Dead series, which the third episode just came out a couple days ago. There's Zombie Airship, Mutant Roadkill. Heck, even Call of Duty Black Ops has a zombie game available on the iPad. Now, I decided to go with Dead Trigger, an arcade-style shooter from Madfinger Games that was released a couple of months ago. And why did I choose this one? Because it's free and I'm cheap. For being free, this arcade shooter packs quite a punch. You play a zombie apocalypse survivor, teaming up with other zombie apocalypse survivors to, well, survive. There are lots of opportunities to mow down hordes of zombies in this game, whether it's through the main storyline, which is pretty good, not great, but it's alright, as well as a series of pretty challenging arenas. The graphics in this game are really impressive. They're the kind I would gladly pay money for, even up to three or four dollars. Uh, the controls are easy to use and touch sensitive. In a previous review I did of Dead Space for iPad, a game which I did like by the way, I wrote how I didn't much care for the gun placement on the screen and how I felt it blocked some of my vision. Well here, the gun is in a similar place, but it didn't bother me as much. There's a lot more open space in this game as opposed to the many small hallways in Dead Space, so it was easier to shift my perspective and get a better aim at the enemies. Not to mention the fact that zombies move quite a bit slower than some of the creatures I was fighting in Dead Space. The other game I looked at has a bit of a different pace. It's better for those like me who aren't really fans of intense violence, as well as those who love revisiting classic RPGs. This game is called Oregon Trail. It's a parody of the original Oregon Trail, a game I absolutely loved growing up. But this game replaces your wagon and oxen with a station wagon and changes the westward expansion into escaping the Night of the Living Dead. 
I, for one, was really disappointed with the changes they made to Oregon Trail when it was released on the iPad last October. It took away all its nostalgia and replaced it with something you'd see on Zynga or Facebook. Oregon Trail harkens back to the original game and really makes you feel like you're playing on an old PC you know, 20 or so years ago. Many of the game's best parts are still there. Dying of dysentery, trading supplies, seeing national landmarks, even fording a river. Although here it's replaced with sneaking past a horde of zombies. It's a really clever touch. No, not Captain McCard. I'm sorry. You're still my favorite Star Trek captain. For all purposes, this was a really fun game. It was clever, tongue-in-cheek, well animated. It should have been completely successful. Except for the shooting part, which was really, really illogical. Remember hunting buffalo in the original Oregon Trail? Well, here it's replaced with shooting zombies while scavenging for supplies. Instead of aiming toward an enemy and firing like you do in most iPad games, here you use a shotgun style which you pull back in order to aim forward. And this causes all kinds of problems. It gets stuck, fires when you don't want it to, plus it's hard to aim at something when you're basically pointing away from it. It makes it almost impossible to defeat more than one zombie at a time. I was playing on easy, and there was only one zombie fight that I got through without getting injured. So I was avoiding any zombie fights unless I absolutely had to, which pretty much defeats the purpose of a zombie killing game. Between the two, I would definitely have to go with Dead Trigger as my favorite. It's intense, graphic, and best of all, it's free. I know I'm not normally a fan of more violent games, but this one really isn't that bad, so people with squeamish stomachs like me should be able to play it just fine. Dead Trigger is free, and Oregon Trail is priced at $2.99. Both games are available in the Apple Store. The games were independently purchased by the post's author. For more information regarding the site's review policies, you can visit the website in the link provided below. Thanks so much for tuning in, everyone, and thanks to Bill Hanstock from SB Nation for giving me a hand with zombie knowledge. Uh, make sure to have a safe and happy Halloween, and live long and prosper. I just had to do it.